Botox is botulinum toxin. And what Botox does is that it inhibits and paralyzes muscle to decrease the expression and action of that muscle on the face. Uh, we use it in aesthetics to help with muscles that are overactive, hyperactive um, in creating expression of the face, which can then create wrinkles that we don't want to see and um, calm them down so you can still have the expression. Well, that's the goal. So you can still have the expression without having the wrinkles. And the hyperactive and hyperdynamic expression of the face, which means all these muscles that are doing way too much and way more than they're supposed to be, create those wrinkle ripple effects. And then those continued wrinkle ripple effects create grooves or static lines, which means that even when you're not making a facial expression, the lines are there. And that's what we really don't want. So with Botox, the earlier that you start, the kind of more we can control how much that muscle acts on your face and how much those wrinkles turn into grooves and um, starting earlier is preventative against those grooves. It keeps you nice and smooth. The thing that we will do is that we will educate you on what Botox is in person. We will do a face consultation, a one-on-one -on -one, to see what's important to you and where are your areas of concern? Are you making wrinkles when you make certain expressions? Or are they present all the time? And um, kind of clarify expectations on how fast these are gonna improve. So once that's done and we decide where we wanna Botox and how many units we're gonna use, then we go ahead and clean the area with the alcohol prep pad and load the Botox and Botox away in those specific muscles that uh, will be creating those expressions. And uh, usually Botox takes, you can start seeing some effects within seven days, but up to really 14, 15 days is when we start seeing the full effects of Botox, sometimes a little bit longer in other people. So things to avoid after, right after Botox would be uh, going to the gym right afterwards and uh, doing any kind of like facial massage or getting a facial done even. We don't wanna move that Botox around after it's in place because that can, move and migrate a little bit before it fully sets. So uh, also things like sleeping on your face, you know, putting pressure on one side of your face, we try to avoid. I always recommend patients to sleep on their back and between, put their head between two pillows and maybe even a travel pillow to keep themselves looking forward when they're sleeping. Um, but not much else outside of that. Just don't really touch your face as much. Oh, makeup. Don't put on makeup within 24 hours of getting Botox and that is more due to the actual entry points from the needle. We don't want makeup getting inside and causing an infection. So we usually recommend every three months for you to come back in. And the reasoning behind that is that, so for example, if you don't go to the gym and you don't exercise a muscle, that muscle becomes weaker and weaker and weaker, right? Which is not great for your body, but if you don't go to uh, the gym for your face, which means that if there's Botox in your face and it's paralyzed those muscles or it's weakened their effects, then they atrophy a little bit. They get smaller and they're less expressive over time. So being consistent with your Botox usually means that you can maintain that same dosage uh, and keep your facial expressions uh, pretty consistent and the muscles in your face to get smaller and smaller.